this is some of the wire that I took out of the heat gun heating element. Now a lot of it was damaged, in fact I, I had to break it in pieces. Well I didn't break it, it broke itself. What I do is I put a Phillips screwdriver through the coils and just uncoil them and end up with a nice little coil like this. So how do we determine the resistance of, per inch or per foot, whatever, of this wire? I don't think that we can just put two probes on it like this and measure the resistance. We'll see what it says anyway. So they're about an inch apart. And are you point uh, four one ohms. However, if I were to take a chunk of this wire and pass exactly one amp through it, I have no idea how hot this is going to get. We're now passing one amp through it. I read 0 0.1883 volts. So that tells me that the resistance is 0 0.1883 ohms per inch. Using Ohm's law, 1 amp through a resistor will create a certain voltage, and that voltage is also equal to the resistance. If I go back to 2 inches, I don't, it doesn't matter how far apart these probes are, the current injection. If I go to two inches, I guess I need a plastic rule. There's two inches. Zero point three seven nine. The best thing would to would be to go say ten inches. So here I have ten inches of wire. I have uh, one amp flowing in here this black to this red doesn't matter how far apart they are, just so they're on the outside of the voltage measuring probes. And I read 1.837, really 1.839 volts. So that would be 0 0.1839 ohms per inch. Now this is good to know because this could be used as a meter shunt. Or any time you would need it to make a custom resistor. What we're doing here is using a four wire measurement. I'm injecting a current here. We're using these two wires. I'm measuring voltage here. Now it doesn't really matter what the resistance of the wires in these probes are. The only current flowing in these two probes, the, the voltage measuring probes, is the current that it takes to drive the uh, bench multimeter, which is extremely high input impedance. And it doesn't matter how far apart these current injection probes are, just so they're in the outside of the voltage measuring probes. We have one amp flowing through this wire. Doesn't matter where we started at, could be halfway across the room. 
it doesn't matter what the resistance of this wire is either because one amp is flowing. It's a series circuit. It has to be the same the whole way around. So that's ohms. That's volts per 10 inches. 1.839. It's dropped slightly probably because the wire is heating up. 1.8374. So I'll put this in a little uh, envelope and I'll mark it one point. I'll mark it nit nitrochrome wire. Uh, 0 0.184 ohms per foot.